let's take a quick look at rendering a night scene in Photoshop. So we start with our line art and the first step is to sort of just break apart the file, uh, the view into separate objects, separate layers. So grass, building, beams, wall, tree trunks, trees, vegetation, entourage, people. And once you have that done, right, you have all these layers and now let's start to color. And again, this is, this is not a full colorization. It's sort of, it's taking the final rendering and just breaking down the process. So you're going to start with your value. You start with the big areas and just get some color and get some dark in there. It's, it's when you do a night rendering, you, you, you need a lot of dark to have light. And you'll see that as we go through here. So I'm just turning on layers. We're just trying to make the building darker. Glass is usually warm because you're trying to show the interior space. The trees have an outer glow on them. It just starts to knit things together. It's a sort of an easy effect. And we're about halfway through here and we're still adding darks. We haven't added any shadows yet. We've got some darks on the, on the people. And is this reading okay? Yeah, it's still looking a little bit plain. Let's get the patio in there and let's put some more value in the background. And we're going to add some shadow darks in here pretty soon. And that's, and then you're going to see this really pop and start to come to life. But the, the, the trick is just getting all the right local values on the objects and on the frame, on the class. So here's our darks coming in there. Here's the shadow. This is what makes it so lovely, right? And you're going to add light. You're going to add some light back in. This is where the local values are now changing because you're adding those layers in. Some darks on the trees. Some darks on the trunks. And in the windows, let's, we got to make this thing glow a little bit. Lots of times on night renderings, the frames are dark. We need the fire to glow. So in order to have bright fire, you need to have dark around it. And we're just going to splash a little bit of extra value in certain areas just to get things to pop a little bit more. We need to add some more bright on these people. And... There we go. And then on the fire. Yep. And I think that's just about it. Thank you for watching.